Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon X. This is another one of those gym battle installments, but first things first, we're going to take a little stroll around Coomarine City and take in the sights. I like how you classify it as one of those other, you know, gym battle parts. Like, you know, the whole fucking point of Pokemon, oh, it's just another one of those boring gym fights. Well... When we get to a gym battle installment, I have to create a very special, unique pun for that episode, okay? Is that right? Oh, I'm reading it right now. Oh, that's terrible. Can you guess what type of gym we'll be facing in this part? Uh, well, you say green, so obviously it's the greed type, you know? It's like, uh, Kamen Rider O's in here. O's. I missed this guy on the way in, but as you can see here, he's going to give us the good rod. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but I'll never say no to free swag. Really sure you can sell fishing rods like that? You can't just have like, well, this is the good rod, but this is a better rod. <laughs> this is the super rod. It can catch ten times more than the good rod. Why? A type of laws, I guess? It's got a misty law on it. Boom. Nostalgia. You can catch a hundred Magikarps, and if you sell each one of those Magikarps for five hundred dollars... Ugh, callbacks. Now, the Lucky Egg is something which I think premiered in uh, Generation 5, and as the lady said there, if you go to a Pokemon to hold, it will effectively double, uh, round about double, anyway, the amount of experience points it gets from a battle, and if you combine that with XP share, oh boy, you're going to have more points than you know what to deal with. You know, I was honestly expecting Mr. Bonding to be here. The fact that he's not is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, we get a very meta replacement. You know, I never questioned the game director being there. It was just one of those video game things that I rolled with. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's kind of a tradition, you know, being able to meet, like, Game Freak and them. Although you don't get a Mew from them when you complete the Pokédex, unfortunately. No, just a diploma, and I think I only ever caught them all in Gen 1. Man, I, I, I'm just sitting here, I'm trying to imagine the kid who heard that rumor, caught all the Pokemon in the Pokédex, went to go get his Mew, I just want to, I'm just trying to visualize the look on his face as he realizes that he's been duped. I remember getting all 150 slash 151, I remember it specifically, because my mate was like, oh, I'll trade you the Pokemon you need, but afterwards trade the one I need, and I don't think we ever got around to trading him the one he <laughs> needed. <laughs> what was the one he needed, do you remember? Oh, I think it was a Growlithe or something. Growlithe? Well, I guess you're trying to make do with what you got. Well, he had blue version, so there you go. I like this guy. Okay, this is the name of his song right here. Let's listen to the song. I'm sorry, did somebody just die? Why do you have that kind of title for this kind of song? I gotta, 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 gotta get sad now. I gotta get sad. I gotta get sad. <laughs> gotta get sad, 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 sad. Boo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> 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 this tune is... Also from Gen 5, there's a lot of Generation 5 callbacks in this city for some reason. I'm surprised that you were actually able to identify this Pokemon sound, because I know I would have fucking never been able to. Well, you haven't played X or Y, so there you go. Well, I mean, even then, you know, like, even if they did, like, past generations, I probably would not have been able to do it, even if I had the Pokemon in my party, because I'm stupid like that. You know what's funny? That song will play perpetually now. Every time you go back into the house, it'll be like you've walked into a friggin' wake or something. <laughs> Dean, you wanna, you wanna turn that music off? No, man. I, I like this tune. <laughs> I I'm revealing my inner self, okay? Oh, look down there, you can see the Bay Area of Coomarine. Oh, wow, that's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, and there's the monorail truck that can take you back. No, oh, it's you. Ah, oh, yes, our, uh, for lack of a better term, rival. Huh, I like that hesitation there, like you weren't sure. Uh, we're rivals, I guess. We battle on weekends. We don't really know each other otherwise. I hope you could hear the quotation marks, because I was heavily implying them. Bold, underline, italicize, all of it. Well, if I had my way, she'd be called a combative acquaintance, but I digress. I was just doing some research on uh, Bulbapedia, and Serena uses the same exact team that you see here, and the one that you saw in the Tower of Mastery, up until the 7th Gym Town. 
the seventh gym? Holy shit, really? Yeah, and need I remind you, we're just about to claim our fourth gym badge. Being a bit presumptuous there, but I think we're going to win somehow. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to come out on top. You know, don't, don't place any bets, but you know, I'm just saying... And the funny thing is, you know the Pokemon she adds to her team in the 7th gym town, which is Anastar City, by the way? Who does she add? If you're using, say, Fennekin, she'll have a Flareon. Oh, good! She adds a Flareon! And what moves will Flareon be able to contribute to the team? The hint is that there's none! <laughs> well, there's Quick Attack, Bite, and Lava Plume. What? It doesn't even have four moves?! <laughs> No! Really? Oh my god! The, the, this is our rival, ladies and germs. <laughs> it, it's so, it's so fucking pathetic. Like, she makes this big deal out of trying to be like this, you know, really good Pokemon trainer, but then the game doesn't let her do that. What the fuck? The Flareon doesn't even have four moves? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it's like you said, Flareon has no moves. Oh my god. Well, give it something! Give it dig! I don't give a shit! I mean, come on! Give it fly or surf! Serena, look, 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 we're friends, right? Um, look, do you need to rent one of my Pokemon? It's totally okay! I have a bunch of them, I'm not using them, just between you and me, you know? We're friends, we'll help each other out. Oh my god, do you know what Trevor's endgame team is? Oh god, maybe you should save it, is it that bad? No, I just I just want to tell you right now so you can compare it to Serena's. It's Raichu, Aerodactyl, and Florges. What? What? An Aerodactyl? Does that Mega Evolve, by the way? Um, I don't know, but it's got Crunch, Ancient Power, Sky Drop, and Supersonic, which could basically- It has four moves! <laughs> oh my god, Serena, what the fuck? Oh... I, I feel so bad. I, it feels like we're beating up like like a lass or what was lower than a lass, a preschooler. I mean, we expect them to be terrible, but your main rival? Come on, really? Well, Serena's final team is Meowstic, Flareon, Altaria, Absol, and Greninja. That's better, I guess. I mean, at least it's five. Do they all have four moves? They don't, do they? Um, three of them only have three moves. Can you guess which one only has three moves? Hold on, let me take off my glasses and massage the bridge of my nose as you tell me this. <laughs> Flareon. Oh. It still has quick attack. Oh. Well, quick attack can be useful, but still. Oh. Yeah, priority moves. Good job. Serena, we we need to talk. <laughs> We're not equals. Uh, you will never be above me. You have no future in this industry. Bye-bye. Let me put it this way. You are a multiplication. I, on the other hand, am an exponent. Get it right. Um, I failed maths multiple times. You want to dumb that down for me a shade? Me better. You, uh-uh. <laughs> That was a little bit too dumb, but I got the concept. Well, I just wanted to make absolutely sure that you got it, Tom, because I care. Yeah, we had nothing for that battle, so I thought I'd just open up good old Bulbapedia and mock Serena's team, knowing full well that I can plan ahead of time by reading an FAQ. I didn't know about that at this time. I'm telling you right now, I did not know that her team was that fucking pathetic, but oh my god. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Kumarine City Gym. It's full of grass types, and we're gonna burn this tree to the ground. No, no, I actually really like this gym, though. I mean, I love how they're taking, like, the technology, and they're, uh, applying it to making all these new and unique gyms. I mean, okay, this is still another climb to the top kind of gym, you know? But I love how it's like a hollowed out tree and you can swing across uh, these vines or ropes here. This actually showed up uh, in the first trailer, I think. It was this gym that showed up, if I recall correctly. Yeah, and uh, if I recall correctly, there was like a random pair of shades hanging around. It may have just been like an asset that they didn't bother to remove for the footage, but I digress. Since this is a grass-type gym, you're going to want to bring in fire types, obviously, always good to have. Uh, flying types, or ice types, to freeze them and then shatter them into a million pieces. Look, you, you guys knew that you needed fire types, right? I'm just making sure. 
because you know I, I just I care about you guys. You know I like to think you're a bit smarter than Serena. And let's be honest, Serena is going to be my new go-to example for how not to fucking Pokemon train. <laughs> yeah, we've moved on from Shauna. Serena is the new heinous. At least with Shauna, you kind of understand, you know? She's not supposed to be like this super hip trainer thing, but it's okay, you know? But Serena, oh my god, you're screwing up so badly. I thought I was bad. Pop quiz, Helldragon. What's your favorite grass type? Ah, uh, ooh, shit. Um... I remember I said my favorite grass type uh, in the damn Poke Park stream we did this one time. Oh, crap. Off the top of my head, I guess I would say my favorite grass type. I was going to say Scyther for a minute there, and then I realized, no, he's only a grass type in the card game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, I'm going to go with Venusaur because I honestly don't know any others off the top of my head. I would say, and I think I addressed this uh, a part or two ago, either Venusaur, since he's an OG, and I'm a bit of a Gen 1-er at heart, even though I love Gen 2 the most, and uh, Gogo, because it's just a solid design. Well, Gogo is pretty good. You know, I agree. I mean, he's definitely one of my, uh, you know, up there favorites kind of guy. I really wish I had Crunch during the Serena fight. Then I could have just wrecked Meowstic. But then again, it wouldn't have given me opportunity to mock her through Bulbapedia, so... Oh, I do want to uh, append my favorite grass type. My favorite grass type is actually Superior. Superior is really nice. He's probably one of my favorite uh, designs in black and white, especially for Final Evo, for a grass type, which I never really pick. I really like Superior. When they bring out the third game for this generation, uh, unless they go for like a uh, X and Y 2 deal and bring out two games, I really hope they give um, more Pokemon Mega Evolutions and more stars in particular, Superior really needs a dragon secondary type. You know what I also hope? I hope they make Serena worth a damn, you know? Because I'm, I'm scared for this girl. She wants to be a Pokemon trainer, but she's throwing away her future. I'm really concerned, Tom. Yeah, you know in um, Black and White 2, I think it was, there was a device that allowed you to up the difficulty of the game, but I don't think you could get it until the post-game. Feel free to correct me in the chat. They had a device that lets you up the difficulty? Yeah, I don't know how exactly, but it was there, and it was very, very real. Why couldn't they have given you that in this game? You know, I mean, the game's easy enough. I guess you could just not use EXP share, but that just makes it more tedious than anything. Yeah. You know, I'm still not sure what to think about Rosalia. It's an okay design. Like, I like the middle, but then it doesn't have any hands, and I'm kind of concerned. It can't even shake a single hand. It can't shake hands. It can't give me a high five. Well, I could say, like, high flower. I don't think that works. <laughs> um, what I remember most about uh, Rosalia is um, May's rival from the anime, Drew. Oh yeah, and when I think of Drew, I think of my sister's husband, who's also into Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't train Rosalia's. <laughs> How do you know? He may be a master grass-type trainer on the side. Well, I haven't asked him lately, alright? I'm not gonna say, hey, do you have a Pokemon that doesn't have any hands on your team? I'm really interested in this specific thing. No, why do you ask? <laughs> oh, well, it's good to see Pyrox back in action. I mean, I know you're changing up your team. Uh, for this game, and that's pretty good, I gotta say, but I, you know, Pyrox is sort of the main, uh, draw, I think, of the party. Uh, I probably could have swept the gym using him, uh, even though he's not all that powerful, honestly, but, uh, my, um, mission statement, as it were, for this playthrough was to try and get out of my comfort zone and use more varied types of Pokemon. They may be the same types, like ground, water, fire, electric, and so on, but use ones I'm not used to. Look, I just want you to use the uh, T-Rex Pokemon at the end of the day. You're not used to having such raw, destructive power, and I really think you need to get used to that. You may be seeing his evolve form in a part or two. Ooh, yes, scary monster is go. This is pretty cool, because you actually have to choose the correct path, because there are some dead ends here. You sure are getting a lot of exercise in this game, well, with all the way you're climbing the ropes. How does the old man get up here? Yeah, the uh, gym leader's an old man. I guess he uh, spends his twilight years trimming hedges and such at the top of his hollowed-out tree. You know the lucky bastard has an elevator.
Twiggy. Twiggy? Is that really her name? Are you serious? Yes, to uh, work in this gym, to be a gym trainer, you actually have to have a plant-themed name. So she had to... Is that like a nickname? Does she have an actual name that's not stupid? Or were her parents really terrible people? Look, if you're not a model, Twiggy ain't gonna work. Moving <laughs> on. Gloom Hell Dragon Forts. Um, nobody likes the ugly middle child. That's my thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's harsh, Hell Dragon, but it's also true. Yeah, I mean, well, it's good that they're using gloom. I mean, make no mistake. Usually they just go to Bile Plume. I, I like how they're having that variety, like I've said before. The gloom, eh, I'm not feeling it. You kind of just wanted to get to Bile Plume as quickly as possible. Or Bellossom. Or Bellossom, yeah, I forgot I forgot Gloom evolved in the Bellossom. I think it was with a Sunstone? Ding, 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 you are correct, sir. Yes, I want my $64,000. I need to buy a lot of pants. Oh, God, Executor. Really bad memories of struggling against Gary's coming back. Oh, yeah. R remember, I struggled against Gary's team, and I won. Okay, Helldragon, just uh, rub it in a bit more. I'll just add in ten more retakes. Please don't. God, you know that actually is kind of a, a threat to me. You know, just today I realized that Executor was supposed to be a palm tree. That's a new low for you, I think, Helldragon. I never was really a big fan of the whole Executor and Execute series. I just always thought they kind of looked shitty to me. Mate, it's pronounced ex -Egutor. Oh, well, I'm sorry. The egg is heavily implied. Underline, bold it, italicize everything. Put that in quotation marks, it's an egg, guys. Uh, I hope you haven't been looking at my Pokemon whenever they pop up. Can you guess what Pokemon Aerosmith is? Ah, uh, I think I saw it back there. And what is it exactly? Uh, it's a Pidgeotto? <laughs> ding, 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 you are correct, sir. It's so rare to be correct, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's the first and only time I managed to bag a couple of birds. Well, still, it's very good that you've named it Aerosmith. I have taught you well. Now give it a machine gun move and it'll be perfect. Okay, guys, we've reached the top of the tree, so it's time to heal up and prepare to take on Ramos. Hold on, I gotta chug like 40 potions back here. Okay, youngster. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> yeah, it's a waste, but I can buy like 10 shirts at this point. I'm good for it. Yes, Aerosmith, take point. <laughs> Let's lead off with a sick solo. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cut ya! <laughs> no, I like this. Like, his cane actually kind of looks like a leaf, which sort of, you know, fits with the whole grass thing. I like that. They're shears, actually, I think. They're shears? Oh, yeah, yeah, they are! But, you know, judging by his posture, it did kind of look like he had a cane. See, right there, he's leaning on it. It can be two things. Why can't it? <laughs> Why are you talking to me, Ramos? What did I do? <laughs> you questioned me! That's what you did! Oh look, it's cute and super fast. Let's see if it can stand up to the power of fly. Aerosmith, go! You know, fair, I'm only supposed to be able to do that. Sha sha. Oh, there's like a ceiling up there. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> the, the ceiling was pretty close, so it just went up like a few feet. And then came straight back down, like flew up. Dunk, well, I guess that's how it does damage. <laughs> Now, I noticed we're, we're fighting him, like, in his study, you know, like I was saying earlier. So, I I was sort of expecting, like, you know at the beginning of Black and White when you have a Pokemon battle in your room? I thought it would just, like, wreck shit everywhere with this guy. This is what you get for abusing Hyper Potion. It's time for super effective damage. Yeah, it's kind of weird that now the uh, gym leaders would be busting out the items. I mean, that's only like, the tactic we're supposed to use, right? Oh dear, this might hurt. Oh, 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 wow, he took that hit like a champ, actually. Grass Knot does more damage the heavier an opposing Pokemon is, and <laughs> Fairy's pretty goddamn heavy. Oh yeah, that's true, you're right, who? So it is really lucky that he took that hit. Weeping Bell, really? I mean, I I'm glad you're using creative Pokemon, but not like a Victory Bell, dude. 
I wonder what kind of books he has on the shelf back there. How to Plant Flowers, Volumes 1 through 10. They have 10 volumes on how to plant flowers? What kind of slow writer is this guy? Well, there's a tutorial in this game for planting berries, you do the math. <laughs> oh, it's written by Nintendo, of course! That was actually um, in an uh, area just south of where we catch Snorlax, I just never bothered to go and find it. Look, would you quit using strategy and shit? I'm, I don't know how to deal with that man, I'm sorry. I want I want uh, uh, Pyrox's Ember to just accidentally set aflame one of the papers he has on his desk. No, my notes! Oh shit, sorry dude! Everything in my study is hemp, Jesus, no! Yeah, yeah, why would you have, like, a Pokemon battle uh, in your office when you run a grass gym and the uh, people you fight are probably gonna bring fire Pokemon? <laughs> Like, I just imagine him standing outside looking at his study. Well, that was a good battle. Here's your badge. <laughs> my livelihood. My life. My hood. <laughs> he, too, can go goat. <laughs> I see how it is. Now, you should have used Aerosmith to finish him off, but you know what? Fletchingler, or however the hell you say his name, is also pretty good, so I'm going to let that slide. I notice he has some bundled up trash in the corner. Again, you know, a good thing to have lying around when your opponent will probably bring in fire Pokemon. I wonder what he was working on. Uh, he's recycling, mate. He's a grass type gym leader. He cares about the environment. Well, I like how he's recycling, but somehow he has managed to make sure the paper did not actually go into the basket. I'm actually using the best Pokemon possible for this because, uh, one, Go Go can't use Bulldoze against Flesh Linda. And, uh, two, can't use Grass Knot, because I'm a light mo sucker. Ah, that's true. Yeah, you're actually uh, handling it pretty well here. I'm basically beating him for a battle of attrition here. Yeah, I'm just surprised that that Jump Luff took more damage than I expected. I thought that was going to be a one-hit KO myself. Yeah, that was a bit of RNG, because obviously, as you know by now, I do a few takes before I'm uh, happy, OCD and all that. And, um, first time, knocked him out straight away with Fly. I guess, I guess Aerosmith fell from the right angle of the ceiling in that take. <laughs> yeah, took down a fan with it. I don't need buffs or defenses or anything like that. Are you crazy, dude? Just equip me with a gun and I'll get all the gym badges and Kalos, including this one. Get like the bullet seed, there you go. You kids need pants! I figure I'll help you out a little. I'm out of grass pumps now, take the badge and get out. That is definitely a plant, and that's why they called it the plant badge. Very imaginative name, Ramos. I can see how you got your position. This utmost authority as a gym leader. Oh, oh god, the back's on fire. Uh, if you'll excuse me a minute. Now we, too, can trip up Snorlaxes and watch as they crash to the ground. Will you actually be teaching that to uh, Go-Go? Probably, but not in part 21, at least, from what I've recorded so far. Now here comes the fun part of this gym. We get to slide all the way back down. Super happy fun slide! Was that what it was called in The Simpsons? I'm trying to remember. Yes, it was. Wee! <laughs> There's like clogged up victory bells and shit in there. <laughs> oh god, clean this out every once in a while. Oh god, he's doing it as well. Look, there's your name engraved forever in these mysterious stones. Who engraved it there? I don't know. The gym might be haunted. Ooh, happy Halloween! Uh, dude, that's actually just mold. It just coincidentally looks like it says T-O-M. Well, so that's, a. Uh, I think that's gym four, right? That is indeed the fourth gym of the game. We're pretty much halfway through our Pokemon Master journey. Well, you can't really be a Pokemon Master after you've only conquered just eight gems. You have to conquer all the other gems, apparently. 
First you must conquer yourself before you can conquer a Rhydon. Well, what type of Pokemon does myself use? Oh, wait, he uses my team. Okay, makes sense. This is the quick and effective way of withdrawing and depositing Pokemon. I don't know why I never used it before. Maybe because it's better used with the touchscreen. Well, just use the touchscreen more often. Well, I'm holding the unit, aren't I? Oh, well, okay. I can't do two things at once. I can't, you know, look at video game footage and talk over it. That's absurd. Yeah, that's some devil's magic. <laughs> we'll see you all next time for more Pokemon. Bye-bye.